information tonight on the bizarre and gruesome case in which someone killed a woman and dismembered her in Ohio, her body parts turning up in Covington. Nine News anchor Tanya O'Rourke has an interview with a close friend of the man accused that you'll see only on Nine News. Tanya? Clyde, this is stunning information this woman shared with Nine News. She does not want to be identified, but she says she is a friend of Matthew Puccio's who police say stabbed Jessica Sacco, suffocated her, and then dismembered her. Sacco was sharing an apartment with Puccio. The friend says Puccio had to do it, that it was self-defense because Sacco had put a hit on, on him because he wouldn't date her. This friend says he told her he cut up Sacco's body so it couldn't be found. You have to listen to what else she says. He said that since Jessica, uh, Ray Sacco, put a hit out on him after she tried to kill him herself and it didn't work, he decided to go after her because that's what his family was telling him that he should have done. You know, it's more like a self-defense. You know, if I was him, I wouldn't blame me, you know. But since I'm not him, there's nothing I can really do. He told me that, he told her she was going to get it in 20 minutes because of everything that she did and with the hit that she put out on him. She said, okay, she turned off her phone, she put the bag over her head, she laid down on his lap, she said, go for it. The woman Channel 9 spoke with says she feels Sacco had it coming to her and that despite the fact that she says Puccio told her he did it and cut up a body, she feels Puccio should go free, that he wouldn't hurt a fly. Four other people are charged in this murder, either because they allegedly helped dismember the body or because they watched it happen and didn't do anything to stop it. Three of the people allegedly involved were arrested in Butler County. They'll be sent to Urbana to face trial. Carol.